Blind dating nine athletes by body. This is by Nectar, wonderful channel, go subscribe to them. What do I have to think about this initially? Well, let me take a sip of my water because I'm an athlete. As an athlete with an incredible body, I would win this. So it's tough for me to really take an unbiased view. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Ronnie. I'm 23 years old. My type are athletes. I love going free diving in the ocean. I love snowboarding. I love going to the gym, working out. Just being fit and being outdoors is what brings me happiness. I do indeed need a big boy. <laughs> big boy, great. Okay, so no short kings. All right, I think we're done here. Thanks so much for watching. So, uh, <laughs> what if I just got super bitter? I mean, I'm already pretty bitter every single time I see that, which happens fucking in every single video, by the way. Every single dating themed video, it just always happens right at the beginning. I need a tall guy. Just every time that happened, it's like, well, fuck this video then. By the way, free diving, I didn't really think, I didn't really understand that. I was like, how the fuck is this a sport? And then I watched that Netflix documentary about it. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I mean, those people are, they, they got this set of balls on those people. They just die doing it because they love it so much. They just go out there and they just want, and sometimes they die, which I guess is the case with any sport, but probably way more common in that sport. I'm so excited to see you all meet today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, he's wearing a speedo. <laughs> oh, we got it. Is that a swimmer? Yeah, swim cap, swim goggles. I was going, I was about to freak out. If it was a diver, I was about to be like, fucking let's go. Ballsy to wear a speedo, literally ballsy. All right, well, hi guys. My name is Ronnie. I played softball at a four year university in Hawaii, and I'm really excited to get to know you guys. Dude, it'd be so funny. The swimmer's head is almost underneath that. That would be so funny. One of the dudes is just fully exposed, just smiling. She's like, all right, first off, that guy's out. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. So excited. Why do they keep zooming in on his package, man? Leave the guy be. Hi, my name is Akemni E. For sure, I'm 25. Uh, my sport, I mean, you can tell by the dumbbell, the gym. Uh, I don't do it for the health aspect. I just like to look good. Okay, yeah. I feel that. Nice to meet you. My name is Edgar. I'm 24 years old. Uh, as you can see, I play soccer. Fun fact about me is I had a bowl cut when I was a kid. Oh so, my yeah. God. <laughs> Going to the gym is not being an athlete. There you go, have fun with that. I'm not saying that's my opinion. I'm just stating that so that you guys argue in the comments. Just wanna start an argument. That's all I'm trying to do there. So go for it, have fun with that. That's a little piece right there. Going to the gym is not being an athlete. There you go, boom. Have fun with that. Hi, Ronnie, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm great, thanks for asking. <laughs> My name's Daniel, I'm 25 years old. I got another dumbbell, kind of rusty. I got it five years ago when I was still a little skinny. Um, so. <laughs> And then a fun fact about me is that I do speak six languages, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, talk to me. <laughs> it's very nice to meet you. <laughs> that was smooth, okay. Uh, hi, good to meet you. My name is Alex, I'm uh, 22 and I brought a my ball sack with a lot of different <laughs> sports. Sort of the fucking Brigham Young guy. Is that what school he's from? BYU, it said, right? That guy definitely brought his ball sack. We know that for a fact. A ball fact. Okay. And then I have knee sleeves because I like powerlifting, strength training. And then fun fact about me, part of my eyebrows are a little bit gone because when uh -huh. I was young, my brother convinced me to get the little cheap razors and to oh, like, no. shave my unibrow with the razor. <laughs> uh -huh. And like half my eyebrow was gone and then never really grew back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Very it's fun teaching. fact. How you doing, Ronnie? I'm doing great, how are you? Good, thank you. My name is Garrett, I'm 21 years old. I'm an active MMA fighter. I brought these uh, wraps right here. This is for my last fight, which I won, so. These will be worth a million dollars one day. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, fun fact about me, my first time out of the state, uh, mm -hmm. I went to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I didn't even, to be honest, know what Hawaii was, you know what I mean? I knew uh -huh. it was far or something, but I didn't. I think this guy has been in another video, I'm pretty sure. I recognize his voice. I know what it actually was, so mm -hmm. when I first stepped on the beach and uh, the water and all that, it was absolutely amazing. I felt super blessed. That's super cool. If you don't mind me asking what island. Oh, okay, that's why yeah, I live. Basic, I know. <laughs> basic? Oh no, no, that's my island. That's my, he said that at the wrong time. If he had just waited half a second, he would have heard her say, that's my island. And he would have been like, it's be, it's beautiful. It's beautiful there. 
As many of you probably know, I am the creator of the number one app in the world that has ever been created, and that's I'd Cap That, an app I made in 2012. When it comes to technology, I think I know what I'm talking about. Creating a website from scratch can be challenging, and in 2023, that's unnecessary. And now with Squarespace, the sponsor of today's video, it's not. Squarespace is a one-stop shop for anyone that wants to stand out or succeed online. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means if you want to start a brand or manage or build a brand, for example, Squarespace makes it easy to build beautiful websites, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time. My favorite part about Squarespace is how easy it is to get started. You start with a professional template and then you customize it so that it suits your specific needs. And then boom, you're done. My next favorite thing is how many things you can actually do with Squarespace. You can use it to build a simple landing page for whatever you want, you know, for an event you're having. Or you can use it to build an e-commerce store or create a portfolio of videos and photos to show your work if you're an artist of some sort. Squarespace helps you do all that in one place. So if you're interested in learning more and supporting this channel, just go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Cody Co to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Boom. All right, back to the video. <laughs> Isn't that the one everybody, that's the one everybody goes to? <laughs> I lived there for three years and I live my dream life no, it's, there. No, it's amazing, don't get me wrong, but you know, <laughs> that's not what everybody gets. It's okay, I feel you, I feel you, you're good. <laughs> How you doing, Ronnie? My name is Jordan, I'm 26. My sport was football, as you can see, the helmet. Mm -hmm. um, a fun fact about me, uh, today's my birthday. Oh my gosh, happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rodney. Crazy activity to choose to do on your birthday. I'm not judging. I'm just saying that's wild. What do you want to do for your birthday? I want to go get probably rejected. I'd like to go get most likely rejected. I would like to get formally rejected by someone in front of millions of people. I think that's honestly, it just, you know, it's my 25th. That's kind of what I'm craving, you know? Hi. <laughs> I'm Ray. I'm 24. Uh, I'm wearing my prop. I see. I, <laughs> uh, I was a slimmer. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, does not just smack his own ass. All right, from my perspective, he's winning already. Look, he's making her laugh. You can't pull up in a Speedo and smack your own ass if you don't have a little confidence, you know? This guy's feeling himself. I, and one thing about me is... <laughs> BU, Buffalo University? Is that what that is? I don't know. Because I recently found out that I'm not allergic to mangoes anymore. <laughs> Amazing. Mangoes so are the I've been best binging on mangoes. Okay, <laughs> super cool. All right. <laughs> Crazy fun fact. Fun fact about me, was pretty convinced I had an allergy. Found out recently I've just been voluntarily abstaining from eating a certain specific food. And now, pff, I've been going dummy on that same food. Hi Ronnie, my name is Luke. I'm 22 years old and my sport's a little unique. It's pickleball. Um, I try to stay active in my sports right now from a coaching side. So I coach youth soccer and youth tennis. Okay. Um, it's, it's really great to kind of see the sport from a new perspective. And mm -hmm. honestly, it's like having 12 little brothers, which is awesome. <laughs> I'm not Italian, but I can make you the best homemade ravioli, and I speak Italian as well. Do you? Okay, Italian food is my favorite, so good awesome. to know. Perfect. <laughs> oh, well, look at that. I feel like she was smitten by that guy. Ah! I mean, pickleball. I mean, how can you not be? That's a... That is... Listen, I like, I like pickleball. I love pickleball, but I feel, like, I feel like the vast majority of people that play pickleball right now are like... 60 plus so again great sport i love it and i love playing it but you're trying to woo over this girl that that wants to do extreme shit like free diving you're like or we could play big ping pong what do you say but she seems to like him Honey, my name is tyler i'm 26. i played a bunch of sports growing up and stuff then i just started working out and stuff wanted to get into shape but mm -hmm. my whole life doesn't revolve around it like whenever I go out, people ask me about lifting. I'm like, can we not talk about lifting for like the first like <laughs> at least 20 minutes? But... At least 20 minutes. Then it's free game. Then I'm then I'm down. Um. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Hmm. Um. Is she eliminating somebody right now? Yeah, she is. Okay. Okay. So the first person that I want to eliminate is Edgar because soccer is the one sport that I really don't know anything about. I also, I've also i never even seen a soccer game, so I think that's the only reason why I'm going to eliminate you, but you seem like a really sweet guy. Damn, you missed out. <laughs> <laughs> Could have gone to many games together. <laughs> Oh, a little slow mo, Edgar. Do you Ed regret, Edgar? That choice? Fuck, that sucked. 
ass. And we got a leaf blower going right outside. Jeez Louise. He could have been your Beckham. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet yeah, you. Nice to meet you as well. <laughs> All right. Damn, you gotta go shake her hand after she rejects you. It's kind of humiliating, a little bit. Not that he did the most powerful handshake in the world. It's so nice to meet yeah, you. Nice. Just the tip of the fingers, milady. Wish we could have had some extra time. <laughs> Soccer joke. Looks like I striked out. That's baseball. And the second person that I'm gonna eliminate is Garrett because he called Hawaii basic. <laughs> You know what he meant. Why did you lie to his face then? <laughs> Hi, it was nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, that guy was in something. Another one that we watched. He seemed like a nice guy, I think. Sorry, Garrett. Sorry you got rejected. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Uh, Ronnie, I was curious yep. what your biggest kind of motivation is and kind of your future and pursuing to be your best self. Oh, that's a really great question. I'm very family oriented. I'm very close to my family. And so all I want to do is just like make my family proud. What kind of music do you like listening to? Like who's your favorite? Ooh, okay, good question. <laughs> I like all kinds of music besides maybe like Screamo. Okay. Um, I love <laughs> house music like Dom yeah. Dalla, DJ Snake. What about you? Oh. Who's like your top favorite artist? Not Going Home by Cody Ko. <laughs> Sorry, that was perfect, a perfect place for a plug. I had to toss something in there. You saw it in my face too, I was like, oh wait, emergency plug! Wait, I thought her answer asking the questions. Huh? Yes. Yeah, our turn. You know who Smino is? Wait, say that again, sorry. Smino. I don't think oh, I see, know I'm gonna put you on, don't worry, okay. Okay, okay. okay. What muscle group do you look at for guys? Because girls like back. Great question. But arms, <laughs> what about you? Right? Just your perspective. Like okay, okay. Um, for me, a mm. good back mm. and a good like bicep. Mm. Like I could just wrap my arm around like when we're walking. Like I could feel safe. I feel protected. <laughs> They're all like perfect. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 definitely flexing so hard. <laughs> I mean, that's cool, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, get a little pump in, fellas. Get a little pump in. How's the time? You guys have literally brought weights to a dating show, so fucking use them. Get a little pumped up. Okay. I see you. Um, yeah, that for me, that is what I find most attractive in. No dad bots, huh? The dude on the left then is kind of a shoe in. You know, if she's doing this strictly on bicep size, which she didn't say she was gonna do, but if she did, probably be this dude or this guy. Oh uh, no, I like a dad bot. I like <laughs> a good dad bot. I want him to be like bigger, stronger than me. I want him to like be able to like lift me, throw me, like I'm into that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I can do what you're over. Are you nails French? Oh, Yes, I do okay. have French tip. Okay. I, they have little hearts on them for Valentine's okay. Day. Oh, Gotta be on oh, theme. Yes. As of right now, February 14th is open for me. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, the first person I'm gonna eliminate is Tyler. I don't think you asked me a question this round, which is okay. I, I asked that your nails were French. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the last question that was asked, the one most recently, was that was him. <laughs> Hi. It's so nice to meet you. I wonder what she's thinking. I wonder if she's like, fuck, fuck, fuck. This dude's got a hot face. Oh, the little fucking tip of the stash right there. God, I love little gelled little stashes like that. God, nothing turns me on more than that. Oh, biggest regret of my life. No, girls don't really think like that, I feel like. Okay, the second person that I am going to eliminate is Ray. We kind of knew that was coming. Unfortunately, it's just, you know, if you're standing there in a speedo besides a bunch of guys that are clothed in other athletic gear, you're going to look the most like feeble, I feel like, you know, because you're like, it's you're like basically nude. I don't think anyone that's basically nude can even have like possibly have the physical confidence that someone who's fully clothed has, you know. I just don't even think it's possible. You're standing there, you're like shivering a little bit, you know? These guys got like things hanging off, they got fucking pink knee bands, like necklaces on, you know, shit's like, it's just, it gives her, you know, they gives a lot to look at. And there's you standing out there with your nipples out, you know? <laughs> you seem like a really fun guy, but just not what I'm looking for. <laughs> so nice to meet you. All right, and the last person that I'm gonna eliminate 
is Daniel. The dude with the pink knee bands is gonna win because he's the dullest. That's just what's gonna happen. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> What's with the slow-mos? I like that they get their like glamorous slow-mo shot right before we never see them again ever. You know? It's a ni nice of them. Nice of them. It's so nice to meet you. Alright, <laughs> nice to see you again. Good to see you. Okay, so now we're doing one-on-ones. So now we get the reveal. Oh. Okay, so E, I go by E. <laughs> Ah, okay. Oh, wow. Good to see you. <laughs> What's your twist? I'm Hispanic and German. Okay, okay. So can you dance? That's my question. Because I can't <laughs> dance and uh, we can't both have two left feet. It's not going to work. I love dancing. Okay, okay. Yes. What do you like dancing? Um, just like I'm being like- What do you like dancing? That's a crazy question. How do you answer that? Do you have to answer with the name of a dance? What do you like dancing? The cha-cha, the foxtrot? Preferably. Like out at a club, like with my friends. Mm -hmm. But I did Tahitian and hula dancing for five years. You did what? Tahitian and hula dancing. What's that? Um, it's like a type of like Polynesian Okay, hey, look, look, you can teach me later. Okay, <laughs> now what do you like to do on your free time? Um, on my free time, I love reading. I know I said like I love being like outdoors all the time. Okay. Um, I love spending time with my family, spending time with my friends. Okay, so I was more thinking like, you know when you're alone? Uh-huh. What do you like, who do you watch? What do you, what's your favorite form of entertainment? Uh, this guy's kind of interrogating her a little bit. Yeah, thanks for that answer, but not what I was asking, okay? <laughs> I don't give a fuck about reading, hanging out with friends. I love watching movies. Okay. I'm a big like movie buff. Okay. Uh, my favorite movie is Into the Wild. It's based on a true story and it's also a book. Okay. Um, I also love like rom-com movies like The Titanic, The Notebook. The Titanic as a rom-com? What? That's the wildest thing that's been said thus far in this video. I also love like rom-com movies like The Titanic. <laughs> the what? Hold on. I also love like rom-com movies like the Titanic. The Titanic and the Notebook are both sad as fucking hell. There's nothing comedy about those movies. Hey, look, I like rom-com too, but I watch, you watch anime? I've actually never seen anime, oh, but I hear so many people wow. talk about it Yeah, though. because it's good. That's what I hear. So many people talk about it. Okay, okay what so do you I, suggest? I need, what should I watch? I have to go through my list. It's on my phone, so okay. I can send you a list after this. Okay. Um, but there's rom coms that I watch because you mm -hmm. know sometimes you need to. <laughs> I the, can't believe she said. Uh, does she know what rom com means? What part of the Titanic was funny? I'll never let go. I promise. <laughs> no, I'm not, I don't want to hear a guy screaming in my ear all night. Uh huh. But like. There's some like, it sounds weird, but some high school rom-coms, right? Okay. And they fall in love and it's like, uh -huh. this is so sweet. Like I want to fall in love in high school again. Um, yeah, thank you. It's nice, nice chatting nice with you. That was a pretty horrible day. <laughs> All things considered, that was horrible. There is anti-chemistry here, the anti-vibe. Ronnie, you know what brings you out here mm -hmm. to SoCal? Mm -hmm. So I'm born and raised in Southern California, uh -huh. Long Beach girl. Are okay. you a big hike person? I'm a very big hike person. I love going on hikes. I've yet to go on hike, a lot of hikes here in California, but okay. I'm like very open to it. Are in you a big NorCal, hiking? there's a, yes, there's a yeah. lot. There's like a big waterfall mm -hmm. that goes onto the beach. Oh. It's like a five mile hike yeah. all across the coastline. Yeah. And it's just a wonderful thing. You can climb up the waterfall because there's a rope there. Uh -huh. So if you're feeling like risky, you definitely do that. <laughs> Did you do that? Uh, yes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And I had a whole bunch of stuff to fall on. <laughs> what would you so. say is like the most like riskiest, scariest thing you've like ever done? Like bungee jump. So I've always wanted to go skydiving, but I'm so scared to. Why would you do it? It's like, okay, it's one of those things where like I'm down, uh -huh. let's do it. Uh -huh. That's awesome. That's awesome. She said, what's the riskiest thing you've ever done? And he said, I've always wanted to go skydiving, but have never done it. <laughs> It's the opposite of what she asked. She didn't say, what's the riskiest thing you have never done? These dates are horrible. What's happening? Maybe I'm just being ultra critical, but I'm not sensing any sparks here. Time comes, my hands get clammy and everything. <laughs> Cause like for roller coasters, I love roller coasters. Okay. But I have to warm up for it and yeah. everything. Are you, are you down to go skydiving or have you gone? I would be so down to go skydiving. Okay, you gotta convince me. I'm really nervous. <laughs> okay, <laughs> great talking to you. Likewise. Well, um, I see you from, you went to school in Hawaii, right? I did, yes. Well, last year for my 25th birthday, mm. I was in Hawaii, I was in Waikiki. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah I so. live like 10 minutes away from Waikiki. From, okay, what I was did on you the do little, there? I was doing the mopeds. Okay. I went by myself, so like- Oh, I, you went by yourself? Yeah, I solo How's travel. That? I solo travel everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, so I did the little mopeds. I went to Hawaii, the school. Uh-huh. And then I did that, that uh, hike. That's like a volcano. Diamond Head. Diamond Head. Yes. I did that. Took some nice pictures there. What else? <laughs> okay. <Any> questions? <laughs> if you could have dinner with one famous person, <sighs> who would it be and why? Not Jay Z. It would. It would <laughs> definitely be uh, probably like Rihanna. Okay. Hi, Rihanna. <laughs> She's been like my crush since Umbrella. <laughs> come on, dude. Come on. Oh my. God, where'd they find these dudes? Well, the first guy's talking about anime for 10 minutes. Second dude doesn't know how to answer a question. The third guy said he'd rather be on a date with someone, a different girl, <laughs> his, his crush. That's a crazy answer to that. You don't have one answer that's not like, yeah, I mean, I, she's just, I just always thought she was fucking hot, so I would want to go on a date with her. <laughs> Crazy man. So like, she, I think she's I would, everyone's crush. Yeah, she's been a crush. I would definitely take her on like a nice date at a restaurant. Yeah. You know. Did she say go on a date or did she say go to dinner? If you could have dinner. She said have dinner, not go on a date. That's so funny. Just saying, like, if I could replace you with Rihanna right now, like, I would, I would definitely say yes to that because like, she's way hotter than you. She's like been my crush forever. So <laughs> that's that's my answer to that question. So. <laughs> what restaurant? Uh, probably like um. No, I've never been. Uh, what is it? Fogo de uh, Fogo de Chao? Ooh, Something like that. that. It's there's one out here in LA. Okay. It's like a Brazilian like steakhouse, and they bring you food and they like cut it up and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I did that once. Okay, yeah. that sounds super good. Mm -hmm. Right now. Ah, this is so awkward. Trade stocks. Okay. So I trade stocks. I invest and work from home, and I just mm. travel. That's it. That's super cool. I don't know much about stocks. I could teach you. <laughs> okay. I, could, I, could I teach probably you. should learn about stock trading. I just feel like, I don't know. I'm big in like saving, investing, mm -hmm. and the future. That's important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something I'm big on. <clears throat> oh, fucking god damn it. Whew, I was not expecting this kind of, I wasn't expecting this type of cringe. The last guy, I feel like the last guy was the one that was the least bad, like, you know, they, they, there was something a little bit going on there, but there's just, there is just zero sparks with these. There's just more silence than anything. Why didn't he ask her a fucking question? All right, see you, goodbye. Hi, goodbye, <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Huh? Um, so I was curious, mm -hmm. a lot of jewelry, at least in my family, has meaning. I was wondering oh, if okay. you had any kind of personal meaning. Um, so this ring is actually from my mom. It has like a whole bunch of like good luck charms on it. Like, What does your necklace mean, dude? <laughs> What kind of meaning does yours have? Been oh. a clover, an elephant, like a heart. And so I wear this every single day because awesome. it's like it's like for my mom and it's like a little good luck charm that I have. But besides that, I just I'm a gold girl. I love okay. wearing gold jewelry. I'm a silver guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I see you have I know, I'll buy you gold. Are you a watch guy? Like are you into like watches? Um I'm becoming one. Yeah. I think kind of I work in real estate. Okay. So Watch it, it's just kind of, you know, with it. Yeah, it looks good um, with like a suit and everything. Yeah, I think I be I'm becoming one. I never really was. I was always like a $5 watch. Yeah. Like, its purpose is to tell time. But yeah. Now it's kind of a little flashier, so yeah. Okay. I was curious kind of what, like how many siblings do you have, if you mm -hmm. have any, and kind of what your dynamic is like. So I have two younger sisters, okay. Robbie and Ricky, and we're all super close. Like my family, we're very, very close. We always do like family trips at least once a year. That's awesome. And um, yeah, I'm just very family oriented. I have cousins that live like super close to me as well. So we do like pretty much everything together. Family's just really important to me. What about yourself? I have two older sisters, so I'm the baby. Okay. Um, I actually come from a family that is almost all girls, cousins okay. and everything. I uh -huh. was the youngest boy and the first boy. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, I'm very close with them. We all live together. Um, and growing up, they would kind of pick on me because, you know, younger brother is <laughs> kind of what it is. Uh -huh. I'd see my sister at high school and she would literally 180 it the other way. Uh -huh. um, but we've grown up, we're kind of maturing together. Um, mm -hmm. So it's really cool to just kind of do things together. Okay, and I remember you mentioned that you like to cook Italian food, right? Yes. What's like your favorite meal that you've ever cooked? Probably the ravioli. Really? Yeah, so when I, I'm in the- Really? No, ravi. Ravioli is what I said. I don't cook really, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. I want to see who wins. I bet it's this guy. I mean, this, this is probably the best conversation I would say thus far. Like the most like date-like conversation. You know, I was batting back and forth. Kind of just like see what I have and uh -huh. make something of it. Um, so I saw that I had stuff to make that and I made it and it was actually very good. So, yeah. Okay. There's this like one of the best like Italian restaurants I've ever been to is called Sunny's in San Clemente. Okay. 
I, I would highly suggest going there. Okay, cool. Like is it like traditional, or like kind of modern? I think it's very, it's very traditional. That's awesome. Yes, okay, it's like a cute food. little like I wouldn't. It's like nicer than a hole in a wall restaurant. Yeah. Um, but their fettuccine alfredo is like fire. Awesome. I'm yeah. lactose intolerant. Are you really? But I ordered for you. I got something else. <laughs> That's it. Making her laugh. Okay. There we go. I like that every guy's default response to anything that sort of like is oh i'll buy that for you or i'll make that for you or uh i gotta teach you or you gotta teach me <laughs> good to see you Ronnie. good to see you we think alex will win don't you know who wins who do they ask who is nectar's pick if it's the editor then i guess you could just how does this work what are the logistics of nectar's pick all right let's do cody's pick i think the italian guy is gonna gonna win not the italian guy but the guy with the t italian food the gross necklace guy do you know who you want to choose yes But the guy in the pink, the freaking guy, Nectar's choice, he was the tallest, so... <sighs> Let's let it play and watch him win. So today, I'm gonna be choosing... <laughs> Alex because I felt more fucking the tall guys they win every time hope you guys enjoy skydiving together comfortable talking to or I hope you guys enjoy not skydiving together him and I think we both are on the same level of like being like family oriented kind of like family comes first and that is actually he's he seems a little taller on the left, so maybe my hypothesis is wrong. The main like morals and values that I'm looking for in a future partner. Guys, sorry, please hi me out. Don't touch me. <laughs> Guys, please hi knees out, please. <laughs> That's kind of humiliating that they're making them high knees their way out. <laughs> they're making them do a drill on the way out. Wow, Roddy, I feel so special. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Definitely a hike. I think so too. I think Definitely that'd be a, good a hike. Idea. Uh, we can go to the beach and then what about food? What's your favorite food? I love Mexican, Italian, poke. We'll go Mexican. <laughs> Italian doesn't count. <laughs> doesn't count. Okay, editor. All right. I can laugh at this. Are we still here? Just to suffer. Italian doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Um, I meant the Oh! What? We were right! Zayd, if you edit me all short again walking around the room, I'm gonna be pissed! Fuck yeah! Oh my god, how did they fuck that up? Cross guy. Is that bad? Oh, you might Yes. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> we will, um, just stand back there. <laughs> oh, fuck, this is uncomfortable. Um, just... Okay, um, I'm so sorry. I think Ronnie might have said the wrong name. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have Luke, Kelly, and Alex. Oh, this is Tally. <laughs> Wait, did it, what's your name? Okay, yeah. Wait, what did I say? You said Alex. 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 <laughs> I take back everything I said about- Looks like Italian does count! Italian. I love Italian food. It's the best. This is for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god. What do you think you and Luke will do on your first date? What do you think Up we'll to you, do? ladies first. <gasps> I like when the guy makes the plans. Okay, well, so. I wasn't sure if you're a country fan or not, but I'm a big line dancer, so oh. I can teach you how to two-step. Okay. We can go maybe go get a drink, or go out to dinner, and then we can go two-step and dance the night away. Okay, that sounds fun. Awesome. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> She's regretting her choice. Ah, <laughs> uh, fucking. She said she like house music. She's like two-step. Good. No, cool. Yeah. Um, I think I said the wrong name again. <laughs> I just feel like we didn't really see any chemistry there. I don't know whose fault it was, but there was nothing, n nothing between anyone, I think. I think she shouldn't have fucking rejected the swimmer. 
That guy would have been a riot. And I also love this guy made his whole brand about being Italian and he wasn't even Italian, right? That's what he said. He's like, oh, no, I'm not Italian. And both of us were like, the Italian guy? So anyways, that's my uh, analysis of this video. That was a fun one, actually. Go subscribe to Nectar. Um, you know, they're like a dating channel run by Jubilee. It's a great channel. So thank you for making this video and allowing me to watch it. Sayonara. Home.